Okay, so we're finished with Wait. your. Sorry, I don't mean to be a diva. Did you have it a was corgle? sticking out. Mariah it was pulls like out a corgle. A corgle? A wayward curl that is pointing in the wrong direction <laughs> would be a corgle. Why are you so obsessed with me? Hey everyone, welcome back to Entertainment Tonight. I'm your host, Kristen Gill, and today I have celebrity makeup artist, Mr. Christopher Buckle here with me. Hello. He boasts such clients as Mariah Carey, Blake Lively, and most recently, he's been working a lot with one of my favorites, Erica Jane. And today I'm gonna show you how to create the sweat-proof look. So the first step in creating a sweat-proof or waterproof look is really combining cream and powder. Because cream plus powder equals staying power. Mm. And so I always use my Triplicity Foundation and then I set it with my Casting Call setting powder. This is gonna lock down your foundation, take away shine, control shine, especially in the, this humidity, and uh, it adds a lot of staying power. You can't be afraid of the power. Okay. Powder. 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 Ooh. Okay, so when it comes to matching your foundation, a lot of people end up making a mistake of matching foundation to your face. And the problem with that is that today we wear a lot of sunscreen yeah. and sun protection. It's really important to do that. But because we do that, oftentimes our body gets a little bit of sun and our face is paler. So if you match the foundation to your complexion on your face, you're gonna to be too pale and it's actually gonna look like you've got more makeup on. Wow. So you really wanna create a seamless complexion. You want mm -hmm. your skin to be all one color. So I like to match where you've gotten sun. So the chest area and on the shoulder. I like to just touch it in and see if it kind of disappears. And I think this is gonna be a great match because then we're gonna use a little bit of bronzer to kind of tone it all in. I'm gonna run it down your neck as well. I always run foundation down the neck because it just bridges the body to the face and it looks more seamless. So now I'm using uh, Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin mm -hmm. and I'm using it as a concealer around the eye and I'm just using a small amount, and it just cancels out any of the red or the blue tones around the eyes, just like that. And basically, this is a form of highlighting as well, because you're building lightness into darker areas. And you can see how this very quickly just gets rid of all those red tones on your fair skin. This is my casting called setting powder. It has no pigment, so it's not gonna change the look of the foundation that you we just did. So just gently set your, your makeup. And the smallest amount of powder, you don't, I know that baking is like a trend, and I know that some of you are baking out there, <laughs> but it's an overload of powder. It's a lot of product, and it's really hard to exist in the real world. With all that. With a baked face. Yeah. And if you really break it down, the whole method of baking was born in the theater. Mm -hmm. It was um, something that clowns did, because clowns would use a really greasy white um, grease paint on their face and then they take pigmented white powder and they pack it on their face and they let it sit for like 20 minutes or a half hour. It absorbs all the excess oil out of that heavy, heavy makeup. Yeah. And then they dust off the excess after it's absorbed all that oil. Oh my gosh. So it's like we don't need that for every day? You don't need to be a lady clown. <laughs> this is my exposure warming powder. So it's not as heavily pigmented and dense as a bronzer. Mm -hmm. So it, it adds a glow without all that heaviness, so it looks really natural. But what we, we could do is we could just work it underneath your cheekbones a little bit and smile lightly. We're just gonna kind of go where the sun does hit you, <laughs> where the sun does shine. Sun definitely is there. <laughs> you could always use a little bronzer on top of it and on the sides here, and it reduces it and puts it all in balance anyway. So do you do light contour on Mariah, or does she like a heavy contour? On stage, I go for it. You know, yeah. with stage, you know, you have to really compensate for distance and the light, mm -hmm. but in life, it's a lot lighter. Yeah. Way lighter. And I'm just gonna run a little bit down the side of your nose, here, like this. If you want to be sweat proof, all day long, if you're gonna go to the beach, if you're gonna be hanging out, if you're going to like weddings. Yes, my wedding's coming up. Tell me all the details that I need. You really wanna build your makeup in a smart way. You want to make sure that you don't, you don't want to stop all of your summer fun. You don't wanna stop on an important day where you're celebrating. You really are not gonna have the time. Yeah. So you just wanna walk with confidence knowing that your makeup is exactly how you want it. Being smart about it by combining like cream, like this is, look, they're exactly the same color, yep. but this is a cream and it's very lightly pigmented, but what it does is it, it lays the base down so that the pigment adheres, so that it's not just powder on powder that's gonna be like 
blowing yeah. away. Yeah. You know, and it, it won't last as long. If you do it this way, it's gonna last all day long, but it's gonna look fresh and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I also like to add a little bit right there on the bridge of the nose. The reason why I always go to the makeup and then to my hand like this is because it, when you go right into the makeup, all that makeup is right on the surface of your brush. And by going like this, you're working the pigment into the brush so it's evenly distributed on the bristles, so it's gonna go on your face more airbrushed yeah. and more natural. Okay, this is my light enhancing duo. This is a highlighter that I made when I was doing um, the movie Burlesque with Christina Aguilera. Yeah. And the reason why I, I needed to do it is because the lighting was such that there was a lot of diffusion and it was a lot of low light and strong light and she was dancing and mm -hmm. you know sweating a lot yeah. and it had to last for 18 hours so i really found that it was the best way to give her the most gorgeous high intensity glow was by combining cream plus powder because cream plus powder equals staying power yes. okay so yes we're going to go into the cream oh that's beautiful and you could see how intense it is but you could go as i love highlight you can go as strong <laughs> or as light as you like. Let's okay. go on this side so everyone can see. But again, we lay down this cream, smile. I always have a light smile on my clients, especially Mariah. I'm always like, smile, 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 because she's always smiling. So yeah. I, I want to make it look right for when she's smiling. And then you go into the powder. And again, I'm going to just knock off the excess. And I'm tapping it on first. I'm tapping it on because there's that cream. We want to just adhere the makeup to the cream. Then you can buff it and it will give you that high shine. I like to go over the eyebrow, like the middle, middle to the end. I don't like shine in the middle of the forehead because it can make you look like an alien. <laughs> because it reflects light and then what will happen is you're gonna end up with a giant round reflective mirror. Ooh, oh my I just gosh. popped myself in the face with this. <laughs> Do I have a no, big shiny you're dot? Fine. No. I promise I it's don't fine. see it. Smile. Let's get more blush on you. Okay. Oh gosh. Brand new. This is a new situation. I, I never even knew that they had like a <laughs> My nails are jacked up. Seal. I've never seen that before, just so you know. This is the Inglot gel liner in number 77. You even know the number? You're right. I just know it's black. It's very black. And it does not move. If you use this, you better like it because you're going to be wearing it forever. Until <laughs> you die. Okay? Which is good because you can sweat in it. <laughs> yeah, no All problem. Right? You with can sweat. go swimming. Yep. In it the ocean. It does not get on your crease or anything. It doesn't get in the. It doesn't get in your crack. It... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know how to open it. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Boy. <laughs> there was a tab. Really? You brand new? I'm just teasing. <laughs> yeah, I'm new at this. Okay, look down that way. And I'm just gonna go right where the lashes are growing out of her eye. I'm not creating a line over her eyelashes. I'm really going in the root. And this really magnifies the lashes and makes them look thicker. And by the way, this stance that I'm in right now mm -hmm. is literally the bane of my existence. The this best. is like, this is me. Backstage with Mariah. With back problems. With scoliosis. <laughs> yeah. The squats and everything that you do, your legs are probably. How do you know? So muscular. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Tell me about this angled brush. This brush is $1.99 from an art supply store. Shush. Mm -hmm. Go to your local craft store and look at those brushes because there's a lot of them. And they even have natural hair brushes too that you can use for like goat hair for, for blush or mm -hmm. for your highlighter and things like that. So it's definitely worth checking out and you can save a ton of money. Oh, I've seen this on your Instagram. This is, you saw this on Mariah. Mm -hmm. This very brush was on Mariah's boob last <gasps> night. Oh, the queen, <laughs> give it to me. So right now I'm just lining your lip a little bit. We're just making it a little fuller, defining it. And this is a, I never say this company correctly. Shantikai. Shantikai. I think it's Shantikai. Shantikai. Why do people make it so hard? I don't know, but it's natural. Mm -hmm. It's called natural. I like this color. 
It's very pretty. <laughs> okay, so obviously I have the smallest lips. You don't have the smallest lips. A little bit. My You've little got, bird lips. No, your upper lip is, is <laughs> not that full, but neither was mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's your lips are perfectly great, but you you know, sometimes you want to just like have a little bit more. So the best way to cheat a fuller lip is to kind of go up in here. And just lightly, with a light smile, just like you're doing, build up right there. You can also use a powder blush on your lips and then put like a little bit of lip balm on there yeah. and it just activates it and you're creating your own lip color, like a lipstick or a lip gloss. Okay. When it comes to um, curling the lashes, I don't like, I like to do it on a clean lash mm -hmm. because I, um, you're just gonna gunk up your, your device with a bunch of black mascara and then you're gonna have to clean it because if you try to use it again, it's gonna create a mess. Yeah. So I just think it's better to use it on a clean lash. Well, sorry. I'm gunking it up today. <laughs> Great. I didn't want to look totally flat on camera. What am I supposed to tell Mariah in Vegas? I will hunt you down. <laughs> tell her Kristen did it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is Lash Blast by CoverGirl, and it's a waterproof mascara. And it really does build a gorgeous lash, but it also is waterproof. So it stays put. And you really have to use a waterproof if you want to be sweatproof, because otherwise you could end up Looking very tragic, mm -hmm. indeed. Oh, look what I have. Oh, we need this, people. What this is this? This is Power Lock. This is my setting spray, and this I mist over everyone's face when I'm done. Sometimes I even spray it into my hand and I mix it into shadows as I'm mm -hmm. applying them. It just locks it down. Oh, that keep your eyes closed so for good. a second. Okay, I like to let the eye, you know let it dry as your eyes are closed, but um. You could spray it a few times. Mm -hmm. Like, I like to let it dry in between. Yeah. And I just tap like that. Okay. So we're finished with your sweat-proof makeup, so you're ready to go, and uh, you can go, you know, run a marathon. I was gonna say, I'll and go run a lap. through the finish line. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having me, it's fun. This was so fun. I'm gonna go run a mile, and on my way, I will go to some art supply store. And buy those brushes. Yes. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys will too. And make sure to like and subscribe to Entertainment Tonight's YouTube channel and we will see you in the next one. You should have seen, I, I gave um, Cher a Martha Stewart glitter collection oh my God. from Michaels. And she was like, oh, it's that top one. She was like, oh my God, where, where did you find all of these amazing colors? I mean, these, I haven't even seen glitter this color before. What is my, who's Michael? <laughs>